The Union Cabinet has approved the Unified Pension Scheme, which is set to launch on April 1, 2025, marking a significant shift in pension policy for government employees. But there are already other pension schemes like the Old Pension Scheme and New Pension Scheme. So how is this Unified Pension Scheme different and what benefits does it have? Let's find out. I am Shivangi and you are watching India TV. The Unified Pension Scheme was approved in response to dissatisfaction with the new pension scheme and several states reverting to the old pension scheme. So let's first understand the features of old pension scheme or the OPS. Well, the old pension scheme provides government employees with a pension equal to 50% of their last drawn basic pay upon retirement with adjustments for inflation through dearness allowance. It includes a general provident fund that is GPF and a gratuity payment of up to rupees 20 lakh. However, the old pension scheme became financially unsustainable due to rising life expectancies and increasing liabilities. Then comes the new pension scheme or the NPS. Well, the new pension scheme was introduced in 2004 and is a voluntary market-linked scheme where employees contribute 10% of their basic salary plus DA with a matching contribution by the government. Upon retirement, 60% of the corpus can be withdrawn tax-free, while 40% is used to purchase an annuity. The new pension scheme offers investment choices but lacks guaranteed returns and inflation adjustments, which has led to criticism regarding its unpredictability. Then comes the Unified Pension Scheme. Well, the Unified Pension Scheme, which will launch in April 2025, will offer a fixed pension of 50% of the average basic pay over the last year for employees with at least 25 years of service, whereas there will be a proportionate pension for those with 10 to 24 years of service. It ensures a minimum pension of Rs 10,000 per month and includes inflation protection and a family pension of 60% of the employee's pension in the event of their death. The scheme also provides a lump sum payment separate from gratuity. So now let's move on to the comparison between all these three pension schemes. So you must know that the Unified Pension Scheme combines the strengths of both the old and the new pension scheme, offering guaranteed pension benefits and inflation protection similar to the old pension scheme while incorporating elements of the new pension scheme such as employee contributions. It promises a more stable retirement plan by addressing the drawbacks of the new pension scheme and retaining the financial predictability of the old pension scheme. Moreover, employees currently under the new pension scheme will have the option to switch to the Unified Pension Scheme with the added benefit of receiving areas with interest. In summary, the Unified Pension Scheme aims to provide a more reliable and predictable pension system by blending the best features of its predecessors, offering enhanced financial security and stability for government employees. So are all your questions answered in this video or not? Do comment and let us know. Till then, keep watching India TV.